Good morning to you. This morning I'm going to cover question 8 of the COS 1511 October November 2015 exam paper. I've basically typed out a piece of code which took me a while to think about. Uh, yeah, because the question is very vague. Over here it says the function calc average is a void function. Okay, so there I've declared it as a void function and there I've named it calc average. Okay, then it says that inputs marks for a course and calculates the average mark. Okay, the function receives as a parameter an integer value okay so this is my integer value here um, the total number of students so I've, you'll see later on they talk about num students there's my uh, parameter num students and returns to the calling program two float values the first value is the total of the students marks obtained and the second value represents the average mark of the courses. These values are passed as parameters. The mark for each student is entered and the total mark is calculated, which is used to calculate the average. Use, a formal, use as formal parameters an integer, num students, and two reference parameters, total score and course average. Now because they're returning parameters, I've used the AND sign. And you'll notice that they've made reference here that it has to be two float values. So that's why they declared data type of floats. And I know in C++, the CIS 1511, I think reference parameters are normally ended with a P. I tend to forget about that. Um, so yes, so you need to be able to um, distinguish that. So we put that out like that, okay? Um, so when I if I change that, then I need to um, put this in here, and also put this, and then use this here, okay? So basically, what I've done is I've asked the I've, I've created a for statement which loops through the number of students that have been passed to this uh, parameter and then I've just asked them for three scores okay and then they've got a temp total um, that was where it was a little bit vague because it sounds like they want to pass one total score but yet they want a course average um, so that's yeah that part confused me a little bit so that's why I thought I'd just make something uh, slightly different so what happens is it asks the user to enter the three scores then it uh, it gets the three scores from the person and it uh, calculates a temp total which it adds all the three scores together and then it gives us this total score and then um, it will add each of these uh, students uh, temporary totals to the total score so that we get a ultimate um, total score parameter okay so we get a value for that I've told it to please output that uh, value okay I need to change it here and then um, what I've done is I've just used the course average to the, to calculate the total score of uh, this of whatever numbers have been entered divided by the number of students that part could be incorrect um, I'm just assuming that that's what they were trying to accomplish and so what I've done is I've also just asked it to output uh, whatever that course average is um, to me it sounds like there should be five students and uh, like all, one set total score but uh, these are asking to be changed that's why they're called reference parameters um, so I'm, I'm 
taking I'm taking this as an example, and I hope that uh, it is correct. Uh, I would recommend that you just speak to the lecturer and find out. Maybe they have a different um, perspective on this. But if you execute the code, um, the screen comes up here. Uh, in my little main, I've just asked enter the number of students. So what it's doing is uh, I'm going to say maybe two students, okay? Then it wants to ask me. It goes. It, it uh, then passes that number of students to this um, function, and uh, also just passes zero for these values because they're going to get a value inside here. All right. So enter the three scores. Um, I'll just go with simple numbers. 10, 20, 30. Um, so that would have added up to 60. Okay, then it wants the score for the next student. So I'm going to go to 40, 50, 60. As you can see, if we add all those numbers together, our total will be 210. So if we take the 210 and we divide it by 5, or no, by divided by 2, then we get the 105. I hope that this video has helped to explain a little bit of the concepts in uh, the C++ exam. As I say, um, there is two types of, uh, of reference parameters, but they are asking that the program returns a um, returns these two float values so returns to the calling program two float values so hence we use the and sign here or the ampersand sign um, so these are my two reference uh, parameters but they they're returning parameters and because they made reference here to total score and course average I would normally take those P's out and just leave them as they are but I'm just wanting to illustrate uh, that they are reference parameters in this example. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it is uh, helpful and useful for your exams and good luck with the exam. Thank you.